नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दी प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट दी सिचुएशन लाइक रेस कंडीशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यू टेक्स एंड लॉक सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ यू कैन रिस्ट्रिक्ट और यू कैन से प्रिवेंट द रेस कंडीशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेमाफॉर्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस वॉट इज दॉर वेरेबल semaphore variable you consider like uh, an integer kind of variable on which we can perform very restricted number of operations there are two operations we can perform on a semaphore so one we consider as the wait operation and another as the signal operation we have already discussed in the theory part okay i'll give you the description in the uh, description section so you can check it now here so grammatically we need to understand how we can create the semaphore and how we can use the semaphore so the very first thing you need to check the manual of sem underscore let's say init if you want to initialize a function so if you check it in sem underscore init you can initialize a semaphore variable so the very first argument you need to pass as the pointer of sem underscore t sem underscore t type is a variable type to define this type of variable you need to include semaphore.h semaphore.h header file second argument it is p shared so it clarifies if this value p shared is zero that means this semaphore is shared among multiple threads of the same process and unsigned int that is the exact value of the semaphore okay so this value can be 0 1 2 and so on okay we can we can fix as per our requirement and the sp thread library we need to link so that we are already aware about okay then sem underscore in it uh, you can read this particular thing so these three arguments has been explained here and the return value we have already talked i think in one of the sessions sem underscore in it returns zero on success on error it returns generally minus 1 okay so if we want to check the value or the success of the semaphore sem underscore init function we can check apart from sem underscore init uh, to apply the wait operation we can use sem underscore wait so sem underscore wait is also defined in the same header file semaphore dot h and sem underscore wait requires a sem underscore t type pointer variable so we pass the address of the this type of variable whenever we call it and this wait function we are already aware about it will decrement the value of semaphore by 1 so you can read this description okay if the value is already zero then it will not proceed okay so you read it in theory we have i have already explained it right now there is another function which i am going to use in this sem underscore post so the post is like signal function it increment the value of semaphore by 1 so if we want to apply the signal or post operation on a semaphore we pass the address of that semaphore here and whatever the present value of this semaphore this post operation will increment the value of that semaphore by 1 okay there is another function if we want to destroy the semaphore variable that is sem underscore destroy so that we can use it is also defined in semaphore dot h header file so this destroy will destroy the semaphore variable we pass the address of the semaphore variable which we want to destroy after use okay so i hope all these uh, things you can remember now i am going to use open the same code which i have used in the previous class where there was a situation of race so you look at the code and if you run this code there is a problem of race so let me run it once so let me compile it and run it so that you can check there is a race condition now for linking the library i can use hyphen l p thread now i can run it by dot slash dot out and you can check it multiple times you will get different values of the final shared variable that means there is a race situation a common value is not coming okay because of t in appropriate context switching 
this situation is arising. So to deal with this situation or to eliminate this kind of race condition, this time I am demonstrating that we can use a semaphore variable. So the very first thing we need to include uh, the semaphore .h header file. Okay, now we can declare a global kind of semaphore variable. So, sem underscore t, and let's say name I am taking semaphore only. Okay, so I have taken a semaphore name of the variable of semaphore, sem underscore t type. Right now, this semaphore, let's say I am initializing inside my main function so after initializing this p thread underscore thread and in it this ids let's say i initialize here the sem underscore init function i'm using to initialize my semaphore so i pass the address of semaphore variable the second value of this i'm passing zero because this semaphore is going to be utilized as the sem shared semaphore and the initial value i want to fix it as one so initial value of the semaphore named as semaphore is one only okay now once we call it inside the thread because we want to protect this particular portion where this thread is operating on the shared variable so here we apply sem underscore weight function on the semaphore as named as semaphore okay and once we done with or this thread will done the manipulation or updation of the shared variable then this thread can apply post function on the same semaphore like this okay after execution of this and after printing everything the final value of shared variable semaphore if you want to destroy the semaphore variable, you can use shema, shem underscore destroy function on the address of semaphore. Okay. So by writing or adding these things, your code will work fine. And now there will not be any race. So let us compile again the same code. Now there is no problem. Let me clear this. And let's say a dot out again I will use to run this particular code. Now let's see thread 0 has been executed and it is giving the value of shared variable is 1 million and after set 1 execution the value of the shared variable is 2 million and final value is 2 million. Every time we will get final value as 2 million irrespective of the order of thread 0 or 1 so that means now there is no race the shared variable after execution of both the threads is getting same value that is 2 million and that was expected okay so i hope you must be able to now utilize the mutex as well as semaphore variable because in your lab manual i have given you the exercise to simulate uh, like a reader writer kind of problem okay or bounded buffer kind of problem or producer consumer kind of problem in the same manner you can utilize the semaphore and thread okay so i am closing this session thank you for connecting see you in the next class